Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel and in today's video we are going to keep it very simple, very easy, very time efficient conceptual sketch. It is of a balcony and we have done a different design in the past but then I'm going to show you how you can create an already existing image into this very very simple basic conceptual sketch so it is just for you to transform a space within your ipad so without further ado let's begin so firstly let's attach the picture that you want to transform and then you can reduce the size of it and what i'm going to do is just place it at the top left corner of the canvas and then I'm going to reduce the opacity and in a new layer above it you can take any pen of your choice I'm going to draw two main lines onto the existing image two main visible lines that you can see right here and that is how we can find out the vanishing point so this is going to be your one point perspective sketch let's go to canvas drawing guide edit drawing guide and then you set one point you can also change the color right here and there you go we have set our perspective guide for the image and then in a new layer again you need to have your drawing assist option only then your perspective guide will work you can also reduce the opacity of the perspective guide as well and now I'm going to get the pen and sometimes since it looks like a slightly uh, ants eye view you will have to control your vertical lines see just long press and then move the lines according to that of the direction of your vertical lines on the image but then here you can see that the protruding lines go exactly to that of your existing perspective of that image so once I start drawing these lines, you can see that they automatically guide your lines according to that of the perspective of your image. So just trace out all the details that you have on your existing image. See, we are doing this in the construction stage. So as an architect, as an interior designer, you can straight away stand right in front of your site and you can make the sketch very quickly. So it might take just an hour to do so. So during your site visit, you can also complete a good conceptual sketch and show it to your client straight away. So in case during any construction, if there is um, any alter, uh, alteration that needs to be done to a certain wall, it can be done straight away during the construction without an issue. So this is going to be your main sketch. That is why we are not drawing the guides first for your sketch as we usually do in all our sketches. But then we are going to try an attempt uh, to draw to make this conceptual sketch without the outline so we're just going to try to attempt that in this so that's why you don't have to have very clean thin crisp lines so there you go i think we can also add a few more details now since we've already completed our main sketch our main outline 
and now is where you're going to design like actually design the space you can erase the extra lines if you don't need them in your design but at the same time make sure that your design remains within your boundaries so there is only up to a certain extent that we can design right so you can't protrude something out so it might not be structurally possible during the construction uh, stage so just try to keep your design within the image or within the existing outline so here as you can see I have reduced the railing height a little bit see my vertical line doesn't exactly go vertical so I have to long press that line and adjust it according to however I want the lines to be and while you erase something you can switch off your drawing assist option so that you can move your erasing lines flexibly and here I'm going to add a design element and this is another design element it's like a cantilever timber frame and I'm going to also denote where my objects are going to be placed over this timber frame sometimes showing just the outline for your client also works wonders it always need not be a fully made colored sketch so you can stop at this or you can continue applying colors just depicting that there's going to be a photo frame right here reduce the opacity and then in a new layer let's start rendering the image don't worry this video is not going to be like a detailed video a lot of beginners uh, DM me on Instagram to make easy uh, tutorials for starters so there you go so using the freehand selection I've just selected the portion that I want just like that just move your points wherever you want to select and then you can choose the color from the color wheel and just color drop it and you can move the layers below so you can still see the outline and insert images that you have downloaded images of textures that you have you can use the distort option to adjust all four corners of the image to the four corners of the floor importing this wooden image and after adjusting it to the podium you can long press on the color that you want and that particular color will be selected you can also import planters of your choice some websites do have planters that they sell like ikeas as well you can select artificial plants from the website itself or if you want to be too particular or you can just download any image from Pinterest that will do and I've also made a video where how you can select uh, like search and import images into procreate from Pinterest so make sure you check out that video as well I've imported a furniture 
I've also explained how to select a particular furniture in a particular direction on Pinterest and then import it into your um, canvas. So all that is available in one single video you guys. It's very useful especially for people who use Procreate too often. So make sure to check out that video before you follow this one. Again that is also very very beginner friendly. So yeah make sure to watch it and now i'm going to select this wooden frame right here i'm going to select the same shade of brown to maintain that palette and again i have imported this planter set i'm going to move it on top so that you don't have any obstructions while you're working with the layer and then I'm going to select, I'm going to use a free hand selection to select this particular planter. Automatic and free, land, uh, free hand and uh, rectangle selection is the ones that we use often. But then free hand is uh, the one that we use in common for almost every object. See automatic selection is you can just select the portion. So only the area of that uh, particular color will get selected just tap and drag to select and then move it out the canvas so you can see that a certain white portion is not selected and also it has left white cast so that's the only disadvantage of automatic selection that's why I tend to use like a freehand selection tool so you don't see those white cast around it you can duplicate it and minimize according to that guide that I have drawn there and for this you can use a monoline pen just drag and hold drag and hold to form straight lines and in the same layer you can use a freehand selection again select the inner part of the frame select white and color drop now I'm going to select the wall I'm going to select the color on the planter So you need to maintain the harmony of the image as well so make sure that you select contrasting colors not too many colors see the automatic selection from the planter has left a white cast so that wouldn't happen in a freehand selection so yeah and we are going to select the frame And then select a particular color I'm going to select this wooden color again and then color drop it like that same thing goes to this railing as well for the top profile so half of it is going to be a glazing rail whereas the other lower uh, portion is going to be of concrete so if you show that to your client and he would exactly know what to say to the um, you know the construction manager and they will also change it immediately if you don't want that steel frame that they use so in apartments they usually don't allow to alter but if they do then uh, you're very lucky and you can alter your design accordingly as well so once the client approves he can then and there just make the changes so half of your design will almost already be done Using the flat brush pen, I just gave that glazing effect using a white color. I'm 
going to select this lower portion using a freehand selection again select a color I'm just selecting a darker color of the floor so it doesn't seem like I'm using a lot of colors and then using the distort option again placing this mat right here it can be a mat or it can be a small carpet importing this image so this image is hidden below another layer so I'm going to drag it on top of the uh, frame layer so that the image is visible and now you can create a clipping mask over the layer that you want to add the shadow effect so I'm going to choose the darker color of that wall and just give that shadow effect so the corners I'm enhancing so without those lines we will still be able to see the corners so if I switch off the sketch layer you can see that we can feel the corner even without the sketch lines so that is the main idea just enhance the corner enhance the other sides as well so we'll be easily able to depict that that is a wall at right angle so when I switch off the sketch path it's going to be really good just wait for it I also give some shadows underneath the timber frame shadows at the corner shadows beneath the frame and also enhancing the corners of the pedestal or I think that's the beam that's the existing beam some shadows to the corner of the deck beneath the chair as well and then to enhance the thickness of the carpet behind the plants I'm just using a combination of soft brush pen and flat brush pen for uh, giving the shadows and you can also add human figures just to show the scale and you can also decrease the opacity so that they don't obstruct your design much and that is it you guys I just increased the size of the sofa because I didn't feel the scale looked right there and as you can see we have switched off our sketch layer and we can still see the corners very well and this is how you can create a conceptual sketch while standing at your site and you can get your design approval from the client straight away and yeah guys i hope you like this video i'll see you in my next one until then always keep smiling because it reduces a lot of stress bye